to meet with Bert Martinez. Marketing consultant Bert Martinez joins Bert us Martinez this joins us now from the newsroom. This is going to take a lot of hard work. If anyone knows that, it's my guest. Real jobs are created by the private. His advice has helped millions, including celebrities and politicians. All right, I am thrilled to uh, have Inez Temple on the show today. Inez Temple is the president of H, no, LHH, DBM, Peru, and Chile, the leading career transition and talent development uh, organization in both countries. And she has provided outplacement services and HR consulting to executives and other workers throughout the world. Ines Temple, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for inviting me. All right. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what you do for employees? Talk about your background and, and, and what you do. Thank you very much. I have spent over 25 years helping people who have been let go from the organizations find new jobs or create their own businesses. But more important than that, we have worked very hard on helping over, I don't know, 70, 80,000 people to uh, understand the realities of the new world of work, to become very employable, not only to find a new job, but to be able to understand that uh, our career is our best business. So uh, the key to success is to be able to have a very high level of employability, which means to have a good demand for our services so we can find positions whenever we want them or we need them and to manage our career uh, and our brand in such a way that uh, that security that we all aim for will be able to find that outside in a work or in a job but within ourselves that's the key of what i have been doing for so long okay so when you say um you know we want to create this brand around ourselves uh, and I should point this out, your book is called You Incorporated, right? Yeah. And, and so You Incorporated really is about not just looking at yourself as an employee, but really looking at yourself as a brand, right? Absolutely. And looking at ourselves as businesses. We sell our, our, our services. It doesn't matter that we are employed uh, or we work with one or several different clients, but our employers are our clients so we need to be very clear that we are always working for ourselves first which doesn't mean that we are not loyal but it does mean that we are helping our brand succeed if we succeed our work if we create a lot of value if we generate uh we contribute uh, to those uh, that companies so or that client company results the, the whole idea is that we should not be uh, feel like our lives are in the hands of our employers but our hands are our career, are, I mean, sorry, our careers are in our hands. If we change our attitude and we decide to really understand that uh, my best business is my career. So I have to keep relevant. I have to keep updating my skills. I have to keep on learning. I have to really understand what's going on in my industry, in my sector. So I really need to be in charge of uh, how much I produce, how much I contribute, how much value I add. Yeah, I love that because so many of us uh, fail to prepare for change. And if we're constantly updating uh, ourselves, we're keeping current, we're looking at things that are happening in the marketplace, we're not going to be cut off. Uh, we're not going to be surprised when change happens. It's just so interesting that this morning I was reading a, a report uh, about Pepsi, uh, PepsiCo, uh, Pepsi Cola manufacturer, that they are now uh, relentlessly automating everything they can. So they expect to be letting, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of people uh, loose, right? They're going to fire or terminate or lay off, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. Of course, the people they're going to keep are going to be people like you're describing, people who are valuable to the company, people who constantly contribute, people who have their skills up to date, those people have a better chance of moving into a different position or uh you know finding a job quicker than those people who are just uh haven't done anything right 
Absolutely. The whole idea is to broaden our perspectives and to be attentive to what's going on. There are a lot of changes in every single industry, automatization, in the, in artificial intelligence. All of that is making every single company review what's going on with their workforce, how up to date are they, and what's their attitude toward change. And what I see a lot, what we see a lot is a lot of people tend to react badly for change. And instead of prepare themselves, instead to be open, to learn new skills, to look for new sectors, they tend to uh, uh, change their attitude into this defensiveness, um, bad attitude, long faces. And that's really a bad against our, it goes against our personal brand. And uh, I see that too often and that's sad. So my, my whole mission, my purpose in life, which has been all these years the same, but now with what the um, automatization is bringing is to really make people aware ahead of time that they have very good possibilities on finding better careers uh, in this scenario when they decide to shift their paradigms, open their minds and prepare for what's, what's coming. And especially to be open for, to learn new technologies, to unlearn uh, all their attitudes or, or behaviors and to really look ahead with enthusiasm, which is the key for our personal brand. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I remember, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I think it's in the book, The Richest Man in Babylon, where he talks about never starting today without enthusiasm, right? Uh, enthusiasm is so important that energy is contagious. And so is the energy of being, like you said, long phase, and being worried and being, uh, you know, thinking of yourself as, as the victim. Um, one of the things I want you to, to elaborate on is uh, something that you said about, you know, thinking of ourselves as entrepreneurs, even if you're working for a company. So how does that, you know, how does that work? Uh, explain what you mean by considering ourselves as entrepreneurs, even though we might be working for somebody else. Uh, because uh, the key to that is, is to really understand that we need to be very loyal to ourselves. We need to uh, understand what is that we really like to do, what we can do better, what are uh, the things that we enjoy doing, and, and try to find positions, uh, jobs, or create companies where you will really feel happy enjoying your work every day. Because whatever we do at work, every day counts. And be certain that we are loyal to ourselves, understand that what we are our service providers. It doesn't matter that you are part of a company, we still provide a service to our company. And we need to be very clear, what's the service that I'm expected to provide? Sometimes it, that's very clear and very easy, but sometimes it's not so clear. So it's, it's very important to understand how I'm going to be measured, what are the expected results, and how can I improve those results of the company, uh, company's mission by, by adding that. So my attitude is, is that of service, understanding that our bosses, and this is not very popular what I'm going to say, but our bosses are our best clients. They are our first clients. And so we really need to understand how to better serve them in a business way. And uh, what, what we see from that shift of attitude is that 75% of the people that we have helped go to a, an outplacement process change sectors, change industries, because they understand that by changing their attitude, uh, seeing themselves as businesses and selling their services, what they are doing is uh, creating a brand for themselves and broaden their perspective, try to understand that uh, there are many things that I can do in different industries as long as I understand what is that I do good, what is that I enjoy doing, and where the market um, is going and where the market requirements are there. So we need to prepare and really enjoy being uh, managers of our own career. Yeah, I like that. And, and you know what? I think that that is a great way to look at your career that, uh, first of all, you are building a brand in that company. And it's not that you are trying to, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you're, you're not uh, looking to maybe jump from one company to the next and all you're thinking about is money, money and, and you know, me, me, me. But you're, you know, you correct me if I'm wrong, but it's really about making sure that you are uh, taking care of yourself that you're making sure that you're putting your your uh, your best foot forward. That uh, if you do something, uh, that your boss knows, hey, look what I did over here. 
that's a way of promoting your personal brand. When I think of that, uh, I like this added this idea that uh, we are all independent businesses within a company or independent uh, service providers within a company. And you know, I used to tell people that whether you get a salary or you you get paid on commission, the reality is we are all on a commission or on a performance based situation. You might get a salary, but if your if your performance goes down, you're out of a job. You know, so we're all based. Uh, we all keep our job based on our performance, based on our personal brand. So I like this idea of, of uh, thinking of ourselves as a personal brand or as an independent business provider within a company. Um, and also, again, when you start thinking of yourself as an independent business, all businesses are thinking, OK, how do I stay relevant in the marketplace? What can I do? And maybe, you know, uh, for example, I'm thinking like uh, we hear stories of somebody who started as a secretary and then she uh, became, uh, what do you call it, more and more valuable. And then before you know it, she's the vice president of the company or she's the president of the company. Uh, and the same thing, we hear people who started um, in the mail room at, at maybe during high school and you know, 15 years later, they're somewhere in the upper you know, levels of the company because they constantly were adding value. Uh, I wanna ask you this real quick. Um, so when it comes to adding value, what do you find is the most important things uh, that somebody needs to do um, as far as, uh, I guess, building that brand, um, you know, building that personal brand? What are the things that people need to be aware of so they can build that personal brand for themselves? Well, several things. Uh, I, I think that one that's very simple is to understand that we have to uh, be able to gain or regain our, our job every single day. Every day counts. Every day counts for our brand, for the value that we can add. I guess it's very important to be clear about how to uh, remain re relevant, competitive, and, uh, and, and, and to avoid the common mistakes that we all tend to commit when um, uh, when working in a, in a place for you know the same time for for some time. You know, a lot of people become uh, uh, complacent and they feel uh, secure because they have been in the same place for a long time. I, I always understand it exactly the, the way, all the way around. The longer that you're working with a company, they are, you, the, the more dangerous your position is because you have, we have to try harder and harder every day because we'll be competing with younger people or people that are less expensive than, than we are or people that are perceived as more technologically uh, advanced or technologically cap capable. So uh, in the book, in your Incorporated, I, which is a very re easy read. Uh, actually, you can read that book like in three hours. Uh, I give a lot of ideas and very practical tips on how to uh, uh, start to see yourself as a personal business, how to develop your brand, how to do it both in the real world and in the uh, digital world, how to establish your uh, marketing plan how you do, do a, a lot of your uh, personal marketing and uh, how to work with your contacts and relations. Because uh, it, still in this age, uh, people, how people refer to us and all the references that they, they give about us are still key to uh, move up in, in our careers. So um, one thing that's, that's, that's key, it's that, um, read the book, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, it's been a, a huge success in, in Peru has been, you know, we have 17 editions because we all want to really understand what can we do to feel safer? What yeah. can we do to play to plan for our future? What can we do to be sure that I can still have a job to be able to pay my bills next month, next year, in the five, five in the next five or, or 10 years? And that the only way to be able to do that is to prepare and to look ahead and be sure that we need to uh, have the skills and abilities and knowledge that the marketplace requires. And so our attitude is to, to that of a business owner that's always preoccupied about making sure that the business remains successful and remains uh, relevant. Yeah, you know, one of the things that, uh, as I'm listening to you, um, 
uh, I am reminded that when I talk to business owners, they are looking for someone who can take ownership, right? That they treat the business or they treat their department or they treat their responsibilities as though they own it and they, and they don't constantly need supervision and they're not constantly um, waiting to be told what to do next. They, they own that space. They're, they're constantly you know, trying to make it better and deliver more and more value. And I think that if somebody's doing that, then obviously when times change, when somebody comes in who's cheaper, who's younger, who, whatever, uh, they're not going to have to worry about their security as much because they're constantly updating their skills or constantly giving more value. And, you know, sometimes more value means working a few extra hours, but also sometimes value just means that you're aware what the company's trying to do and you're trying to help that company reach its objective. Um, you know, so there's there's so many different ways to deliver value. I want to talk about this with you. Um, the uh, I want to talk about the individual idea. Uh, I know a lot of us are concerned about um, giving our opinion or giving an idea. And I want to talk about, because you talk about this in the book, that um, defining our individual idea of success make us more likely to achieve it. And I want you to talk about this. How does defining our success give us a, what do you call it, uh, a, a, a better chance of achieving it. Talk about this. Um, a lot of people uh, uh, think that success, it's tied up with money or cars or material things or whatever they think it is. Uh, for me, success comes from being very honest about what is that you really want to do with your life. And your life it's, it's, it's about your family relationships, your health, your spiritual growth, your friends, uh, the work you do, the, what you give out to others. There are different combinations of things that are of value to each one of us. What we need to do is to really understand what is that is important to me, not to my spouse or my parents or my, or my children. What is that important to me? And then uh, after doing that personal analysis, try to really be very, very, truthful to ourselves, because sometimes money confuses us because we really want everything that, that is around to be to be bought. But uh, the only way to be very successful at work is to be able to be to, to do in something that really enlightens your your inside fire, something that really makes you passionate. And even though we're having a, a, a nine to five job, uh, if we really understand what is that we are doing for others, what is that this is doing for me, if we really change our attitude and understand that uh, why I'm doing this and what, how, so if this is a step to the next things that I want to do, you can put the things in perspective. I still remember when I, early on in my career, I used to you know, travel every week, wake up at four in the morning to write articles and, and prepare for work and take my children to school. I was saying like, what am I doing with my life? And then I always understood that, I mean, these are the five first terrible years where I really need to, you know, to, to work very hard. And then the next five will be better. And then the next five I'll continue growing. And so to have a plan, see, to write down uh, your, your, plans and objectives, as just as uh, any business owner will do his uh, business plan. Because our career is our business. We need to set objectives and establish our goals and write them down. Because it's the only way that we uh, will understand if we are moving forward or not, and if we are moving in the right direction. And very importantly, if we are moving fast enough. Today, there are many people, many, uh, many people ahead of us. And yes. uh, we need to catch up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like that so very much. Uh, defining your success. I think that's a very smart idea because it's not always money. We see people every day that have a lot of money and they're unhappy. You know, they, they've been married three or four times. Um, you know, they're, they don't know their children uh, and they're under all this terrible stress and, and they're miserable. So money is part of the equation, but it's not all of the equation. You mentioned, you know, the spiritual, the family, uh, you know, health is important as well. 
So all these things really ultimately uh, define who we are. And so therefore, I think it's important to define them. All right. So uh, let me ask you this. Uh, the book, again, is You Incorporated. Um, here it is. You Incorporated. Your career is your business. And it's available on Amazon as well. Everywhere. It's available oh. everywhere. Okay. And so what was the motivation? Why did you write the book? Because uh, we uh, work with uh, companies that ask us to help find new positions for those who are being laid off. And, but I realized uh, there are many, many, many millions of others that couldn't access our service, couldn't access our knowledge about how to manage their careers and find new jobs or, or, or really redefining the way they manage their, their lives and their brands. So I wrote the book. Uh, in order to be able to give this knowledge to uh, a lot of people. And uh, because I really believe that if we are truly employable, we are free. We are free to, to pursue our goals. And if we manage our career as our businesses, as I just mentioned a hundred times already, uh, we will have uh, much more opportunities to be successful. If we understand what we are doing and why are we doing it, we'll have a better attitude, which is key absolutely key in order to have success in our careers and in our lives so i wanted to to give out the the good vibes and i wanted to contribute it's my mission you know yeah. when i see people that came to my office with their minds confused or not really understanding why why were they laid off or why they cannot advance in their careers fast enough because we do a lot of executive coaching too and when you sit down with them and and, and really share some of these very simple and basic ideas. I mean, this is nothing like so new, but sometimes we just need to remember them and use them in the right moment. Uh, and then everything will come together. And, and when I get every day, you know, dozens and sometimes, you know, hundreds of letters of people that say like, see these simple ideas help turn my life around, help me understand how to be successful, how to in my, my career, how to change my attitude, how to serve better. You know, I go to bed very happy. Sure, sure. And you know what? Uh, I think the best ideas are the simple ideas, right? I mean, they're not, you know, when idea becomes too complicated, it's very difficult to execute and people just can't do them. But the simple ideas are the ones that seem to have the biggest impact. Uh, you know, so saving 10% of your money, uh, you know, is a very simple idea. Uh, and, and that one simple idea makes a lot of people, uh, you know, very, very wealthy, uh, helps them retire, helps them uh, plan for uh, the, you know, in case they have an emergency. Uh, you know, again, these are simple ideas, but they have massive impact. All right. So uh, in Chile and uh, Chile and Peru, uh, you help people in transitions, your business or your, your company helps people who are, again, they're being laid off, they got fired, whatever the, whatever the situation is, they find themselves uh, in need of a new job or maybe to update their skills. Is that right? Absolutely. That's, that's what we do. And, and I said before, we, we help them sit down and manage their, their pain, their initial pain, because nobody ever expects to be fired. And a lot of people, don't get me wrong, don't get fired because they didn't do a, a good work. Sometimes their companies are bought the companies are merged, they change the, the profile of the positions, or with all this technology, companies just don't need as many people as before. So um, what we try to do is help them uh, understand what's there out for them and uh, build a plan and follow that plan about how to understand uh, their skills, their abilities, what the job market is requiring, set themselves a goal and help them on in, uh, in the following weeks and months to pursue that plan and find their jobs. I mean, our, our placement uh, radios are outstandingly good and uh, people do find new positions. And we see a lot of people that come again and again, because just remember, the jobs last as long as we both parties want them to last. No job is secure. <laughs> and uh, I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I may not want to be in this job tomorrow, 
or my employer may not like me tomorrow or even today. So I always need to be ready and prepared. So I wrote the book for um, an easy read, as I said before, and for simple people, I mean, just regular people like us, because I thought there is a lot, there is a lot, there are a lot of books, you know, like for academics or, you know, with more complicated concepts. But I, I think like you just said, uh, back to basis is what really helps people succeed. And uh, we have helped, you know, as I said before, 80, 70, 80,000 people redefine their lives and their careers successfully. And um, with the book, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of people are understanding better ways to, to manage their lives. Yeah, I like that so very much. And, and, and I really enjoy the, the uh, I really enjoy the, the idea of thinking of yourself, not as an employee with a job, but a business with a client. Yes. And, and, and when you start thinking at it that way, it really changes everything and makes you, I think, a little bit more focused in what you're doing. It helps you to understand that, like you said, today they love you, tomorrow things change and you're being laid off, not because you were a bad employee, maybe the no. company was bought, maybe uh, it's being automated, the positions changed, but because you didn't have the skills or because maybe enough, enough uh, value wasn't delivered or maybe because you didn't make the connections within that company, all of a sudden you find yourself without a job. And when you start thinking of yourself as a business person, you know, business people are always looking to make connections. They're always looking to have more influence. Uh, and so I love this idea of thinking of yourself as an, in, as an entrepreneur or as a business within the company. I think that's, that is a simple idea that's going to help a lot of people keep that job, move up in that job, or find a better job. Yes, and for that you have to always, we all have to be always visible. We need to have our LinkedIn always very well prepared and ready with a good picture, not a, not a bad one, <laughs> with a professional one. And we need to make our references always good by having relationships, business relationships with a lot of people. So a lot of people will know who we are, how well do we work, what great attitude that we have, how smart we are to understand what's really required from, from, from our work. Keep our, our, what I call our Facebook audited, which means make sure that everything that we post uh, will, that will be seen by any potential yeah. employer or own bosses will be, it's appropriate. And when I mean appropriate, we'll yeah. put a good light for you. Make sure that whatever we publish in LinkedIn is appropriate. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have, I have stopped hiring people because they didn't like what I saw about about them in Facebook or what they wrote in in, in Twitter or I didn't I I thought their uh, um, Instagram pictures were not appropriate for the position I was looking and and sixty eight percent of people that are not hired in a selection process is because um, something in their in their digital. Uh, media was inappropriate or not good enough. <clears throat> a lot of people still think that Facebook is like their places for therapy or, you know, where they can share all their, the hate there is in their souls or, or whatever. We need to keep uh, very certain that our brand communicates a lot about ourselves. So we need to understand what we always live under spotlights. And that everything that we put on on digital media will stay there forever. Yeah. So uh, we have to be very careful with not only what we published, but with what we allow others to publish about us. And yeah. be very, and to make all this on. It's like every couple of weeks you have to go over your information and make sure that it uh, puts the right light on, over your profile. Yeah. No, I like that so very much. Uh, we do have to be aware that uh, social media uh, has eliminated a lot of our uh, privacy. Uh, if you're posting inappropriate pictures on your social media, that could come back and haunt you. Uh, you know, here, here in the United States, we've had more than one politician lose their job because they posted inappropriate pictures on Twitter. So this is, this is a, a, you know, somebody in a, position of power, losing everything because of an inappropriate picture or two. So yes, it affects your hiring. It affects your 
stability. So I like that. Ines Temple, I want to say thank you so much for stopping by. I am excited for your book, uh, You Incorporated. Your career is your business. I love that. Available at Amazon or wherever good books are sold. You can also find it at InezTemple.com, I'm thinking. Yes, and there is also an audiobook, and uh, it's, you know, it's everywhere. And you know what? It's not expensive. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Inez Temple, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's been such a pleasure and an honor to be with you. Thank you.